Good evening. I'm broadcasting to you straight from my bed. Um, today I want to talk about a um, very important topic today in this country. Guns. My little cap gun. So, as you all know by now, there was another um, mass shooting, and um, it just so happened to be the same day as, you know, the most destructive fire in California history. And um, as we all know, last year, too, was also the most destructive fire in California history, and it took place on um, October 8, 2017, and the most destructive fire in California history took place exactly one year and one month later on November 8th, so I didn't know that the most destructive fire in California history both times would prefer the eighth of the month. You know, I guess the deadliest fires and most destructive fires in California really have taken a liking to the eighth of the month in the months of October and November. So, there you go. And then what's more is um, it was also, you know, the same week last year was also the deadliest mass shooting in the United States committed by one person. Um, I think like 59 people died, hundreds injured, um, 451 were gunshot wounds, um, but 800 were total injured. I'm not sure what the other injuries were. Um, and so this year, some of the survivors of that shooting were actually at this shooting. Imagine that. The deadliest shooting in the U.S. committed by one person. Um, it happens to be the same week as the most destructive wildfire in California history. And some of the people that were at that shooting survived, and then they were at the Thousand Oaks shooting this year, exactly one year, one month, and one week later. What are the odds? Both were country-themed events. Country-themed events. Country-western-themed. It was a country music festival you know, and um, the Thousand Hoax shooting was a country western night. So what are the odds of that? You know? Um, anyway, um, the only thing I ever hear people talk about in the news after a shooting like this is that gun control, go figure. That's the only thing anyone ever says after a mass shooting. Gun control. Gun control. Gun control. Is that really the issue here? Um, let's just say that there aren't false flags. There's no hoaxes. False flags don't exist. Just entertain that idea for a second. Hypothetical. These people are sick mentally ill they go in they want to shoot tons of people apparently like shooting themselves isn't enough they gotta take down everyone else with them well these people are obviously suffering severe wait for it what is the word can anyone think of it can anyone guess where i'm going with this or, or do you just keep hearing the words gun control, gun control, gun control, repeated like a fucking brainwashing machine 
on the fucking television programming machine that you're all glued to every goddamn night. Sorry. Sorry I said that, God. Anyway, I got angry because the words I'm looking for, not this, gun control. No, get it out of your heads. You know what we should be saying and chanting and repeating at these mofos on the TV screen. Mental health care. That's right. There, I said it. Mental health care. Can anyone tell me why mental health care isn't being talked about on the media? And the fact that it's severely lacking in this country to effectively help people with problems. Why? Because this country is not about solutions. They don't want the solution. The solution is not gun control. So when they offer you a solution like that, you pretty much automatically know that's not the solution because this country doesn't want solutions. They don't want to give you solutions. They give you what they tell you is the solution because they created the problem. So then they offer you the solution. The solution is to fix the mental health care system. That's the root of the issue. The root of the issue is not that people are getting guns because, duh, people can get whatever they want. But it's the problem is, they're, are they sick enough to use the, those weapons against others? You know, 88,000 people die a year from alcohol and only 33,000 people die a year from guns in this country so why don't people talk about alcohol oh because prohibition didn't work duh so uh you know taking away our guns that's not gonna work taking away our drugs that didn't work Look how many people are hooked on fucking drugs. I mean, 106,000 something people die from opiates every year. Double check me on that. But it is a large number of people dying from prescription drugs. Like, ten times and five times more. I guarantee you it's a lot more people dying of drugs than guns. Um, I said 33,000 people die a year from guns. And guess what? Um, Two-thirds of those are suicides. So only about 11,000 people die every year from gun violence. 11,000. 88,000 people die from guns. I mean alcohol every year. Um, 800. 800,000 children go missing every year in this country. No one's talking about that either. Where are they going? That's quite alarming. That's a very alarming amount of children going missing every year in this country. No one's talking about that in the media. You know? <laughs> Where are the kids going? How come people keep talking about gun control, gun control? You keep yapping in my face about gun control no one's talking about mental health care because if we can help people with their mental health problems guess what then they're probably not gonna be as likely to want to go get an illegal gun off the street because everyone knows if you make you can ban all guns you could just go ahead and get rid of confiscate every single gun in America you can make all guns illegal. You can do that. And then guess what? There's still going to be mass shootings. There's still going to be people getting murdered on the street. There's still going to be gang violence. There's still going to be people purchasing guns illegally on the streets and shooting each other. 
Because guess what? Drugs are illegal. And there's still people buying drugs and using drugs. Yeah. That happens. Did you know that? All drugs are illegal. And there are people still using drugs. So you can go ahead and make every single last gun, weapon, knife, mace, whatever. You could take away every single weapon from every American. And guess what? We're still going to get guns. And if you want to kill someone, you go on the street and you purchase a gun illegally because killing someone is illegal. So if you're not going to follow the law when it comes to killing people, then you're probably not going to follow the law when it comes to purchasing weapons. All right? So everyone, every motherfucker that wants to talk to me about common sense gun control, how about some motherfucking common sense mental health care, yo? How about you go and get yourself some fucking common sense, bro? Stop talking to me about common sense gun control because common sense tells me that you're brainwashed by whatever the media tells you on the television screen and you're programmed into believing that common sense gun control is actually going to do anything at all to stop people from killing each other because the law won't stop that from happening. The only thing that will make it better is if we start demanding better health care, mental health care for people and students and churchgoers and whoever, people need help. Okay? We are a nation of traumatized people. Everyone has been traumatized. Everyone has some type of PTSD, past trauma bullshit. They need therapy. Everyone needs therapy right now. Okay? And you want to take away my gun? Go ahead. Take away my guns. Um, but guess what? There's still going to be people with guns. And the people with guns are the kind of people that I would rather have a gun to defend myself from. See, see where I'm going with this? So, common sense gun control would be to stop the gun control debate. There is no debate. They want your guns. They're trying to disarm Americans. If they wanted a solution, they would talk about mental health care. It's just like, oh, well, gee, let's, let's arm the teachers. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If you want to protect students, you ha I'm sorry, but then you're going to have to make it a, a, you know, as safe as a courthouse. And guess what? Courthouses don't arm judges. They have guards outside. Wow. What a concept. Okay. Protect the schools like you protect the courts. You don't arm teachers. Courtrooms don't arm judges. They arm the courthouses. So arm the schools. Guard the schools. Don't give guns to the teachers. I mean, seriously, that makes no sense. Give guns to the guards, the people that are supposed to have guns, you know, and the people, the other people who are supposed to have guns are the people. According to the Second Amendment, I mean, I don't feel safe. I'm completely defenseless. I'm a woman. I live, you know, I, do, I don't live with a man in the house. I don't live with a gun in the house. I don't, I don't, 
This is totally fake. This is a toy. I don't have a real gun. I mean, all I have is some pepper spray. I mean, if someone were to come in here, um, I'm fucked. Basically, if a mentally ill person who couldn't get mental uh, health help um, got an illegal street gun because, you know, let's say they tried to buy a, lo a gun legally. Let's just say, you know, a mentally ill person who wanted to kill multiple people wanted to go buy a gun. So they went to your local Big Five and they're like, I want to buy a gun. And they're like, okay, well, oh, I'm sorry, sir. We, we ran a background check and, you know, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to purchase a gun with us because, uh, because of your background history. And that person says, okay, well, you know, thank you for your help. Um, all right, bye. So what's that person going to do? Are they just going to change their mind and say, oh, no, I don't feel like killing people now because they wouldn't let me buy a gun legally? Are, are they just going to change their mind and go home and call it a day and be like, oh, my plans are foiled because, because they wouldn't sell me a gun legally. So, you know, my sick plot to, to have a mass shooting today at, at church, you know, I'm just, my plans are completely ruined. Because they wouldn't give me a gun legally, right? So let's just say, no. No, 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 no. Common sense would tell me that that person who wasn't allowed to purchase the gun legally turned around, went home, probably went through their phone list and was like, okay, what sketchy characters do I know in my neighborhood? Who can I talk to? They're like, I don't know. Maybe I need to take a drive into the city. Maybe I need to go, you know, talk to some folks. You know, let me think. Hmm. Who do I get my drugs from? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll talk to the person that supplies my drugs. And maybe they'll know who to get a gun from. Because usually drug dealers need to have guns to protect their stash. And they know other people. That will have guns that are illegal because drug dealers are already dealing drugs and that's illegal, right? And they need guns. So that mentally ill person who just was stopped from purchasing a gun just went and bought a gun on the street. Or he stole it. You know, I don't know, either way. But that didn't stop him. He went to go get his gun, and then he went and did the mass shooting, and it's all your fucking fault, because you believe this shit. You believe the official narrative, because you are willfully ignorant fools who need to get off your damn fucking cell phones, and your stupid violent video games, and go read a fucking book. You know? Or maybe go call someone on the phone. Instead of fucking chatting it up on your stupid little social media fucking platforms. Have some real human interaction. You know? Stop ignoring people but pretending you're all caught up on their lives because you saw what their fucking dad ate for lunch. On a stupid social media website where, you know, everyone knows your name but you're distant because you can't remember what a real human interaction is, you know, where most of our communication is nonverbal. So, you know, just get off your screens. Stop being brainwashed. Get off your cell phones. Use a landline. Read a book. Stop watching commercials. Stop believing the mainstream media because all you people who think you're awake and you're aware and you're woke, you still drink the Kool-Aid and I see every one of you motherfuckers who thinks you're so awake and aware and new age, you still drink the Kool-Aid. You drink it down. Oh, 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 oh. You love it. You fucking love it. 
get off your fucking TV and fucking wake up. Gun control is bullshit. They want your guns to leave a nation defenseless. Oh, yeah. A nation that's already turned against its people a long fucking time ago. So you need to wake up if you don't think that your government is killing you. That's not a conspiracy. This is about money. It's not about saving human life. It's not about protecting the citizens anymore. It's about money. Who has the money? Who has the most money? Who can keep money flowing into the hands of the wealthy? And they will stop at nothing. Even if it costs millions of lives to keep that money flowing into their fucking pockets. So wake up. Don't hand over your guns to a mentally ill government. Peace out.